So today we're headed to uh, Biarritz from London, London. Biggin Hill Airport. Pretty cool. Sierra India, Romeo, I've got your ATC clearance when you're ready to copy. Uh, go ahead, Sierra Romeo. Sierra Echo, Mike India, Romeo, hold position after departure, it's a right turn on the lid to departure. Climb to altitude 2,400 feet. Talk 2235. Okay, holding position, uh, right on departure, on the lead to departure to 2000. So uh, here the seat is sawn to a problem that I would realize first a little bit later. Uh, I'm cleared out on the lead to departure. Uh, Big and Hill has the interesting feature that they use the same SIDs for both runways, yeah, 0, 3, and 2, 1. Uh, also, the instruction right turn out is the same for both runways. Uh, you know, despite the fact that in one case you're turning right uh, to go north, and the other turning right to go south. But the instruction doesn't change. So let's see what happens. Uh, begin, Sierra uh, India Romeo, ready for taxi. Sierra India Romeo, Roger. The wind at the moment is 290 degrees, 7 knots. Would you prefer 2103 for departure? I'll take 2 1, thank you. Sierra Romeo. So uh, it's a little unusual at Biggin Hill uh, that they use the same departures for both uh, 0, 3, and 2, 1. So when you enter that departure in the Garmin, you have to separately specify which runway you're departing on. It's an extra step. Uh, I had entered 21, given the wind, but the tower asked the question, uh, which runway? Because uh, with 290 and 7 knots, the difference is minimal and zero 03 would be more direct. So now I'm thinking it over and realizing that I'd rather have the direct route and I changed my mind. Uh, big and see, Andrew, I, mean, I uh, think I actually would prefer zero 03. Sure, Andrew, I'll be watching this, no problem. I see the holding point hotel for zero 03. Holding hotel for zero 03, thank you. So now I'm taxiing out to zero 03 and I never realized that I need to reprogram the uh, flight management system with the updated runway. I haven't got a new departure from the tower since it's the same for both runways. And the added step of specifying the runway in the G1000 is a little bit unusual. Um, it's really an extremely simple mistake. Uh, I think that this is the kind of thing that happens when you get pushed out of your routine. Uh, these kinds of things show up. So, we're cleared on the lead two out of Biggin Hill, which is south to Dutlik. Then we're out over the water to France, over Normandy, and then uh, pretty much a straight shot down to the Biarritz on the Atlantic coast. Yeah, there you see the way I refer to the SID without the runway. Uh, in all situations, the SID includes the runway, so it's just part of my routine to not specify both. Uh, that can definitely be improved. Approach. Good morning again. Uh, this is Lonic 60 Charlie Pop at Rise and Jet Request Start at Clearance. We have uh, information Romeo 1039. And here was my last chance to catch my error. If I had, as my checklist indicates, done a thorough departure briefing for myself, then I would probably have caught the programming error. But I glazed over it and uh, I didn't catch it. And yeah, that can definitely be improved. Uh, big and fast, here come Mike Indy Romeo, uh, and departure, ready for departure. Sierra India Romeo, Rochelle, call you right back. Can you hold, uh, this, thank you. Sierra India Romeo, right turn one mile, runway zero three, clear for takeoff. With information, Romeo, on West Camp requesting start and uh, runway 03 is available for a um, low-level uh, cross to Farnborough. Um, uh, 
300 Gulf Papa Megan, good morning. Start the prayers, QH 1039, expect 03. 1039 and 03, thank you. November 300 Gulf Papa. So here you see, I, I turn on the autopilot and then I notice it starts to turn right immediately, which it's not supposed to do. The departure route uh, is to continue on runway heading until uh, a nautical mile from Bigham uh, and then start your right turn. Uh, so I'm, I'm struggling to grok what's going on and it's taking me a few seconds to realize that the autopilot's misprogrammed. You know, here I finally turn off the autopilot and uh, straighten out by hand. Uh, it's not a good situation. The workload increases dramatically and suddenly the brain is almost completely occupied with all the questions that it now has to find answers, answers to. Uh, like where is the track I'm supposed to be on? Uh, shall I try to reprogram now or just follow the departure by hand? Sierra India Romeo, climb now to altitude 3,000 feet. Uh, 3,000 feet, Sierra Romeo. Um, another thing I could have done in my prep, my departure prep, would have been to tune in the DET VOR as a backup. These departures are not RNAV departures, they're navigated departures. And you can fly them using the uh, nav aids. If I had programmed in uh, the DETLing VOR and set the course for it, then I could just um, follow that now. But uh, I didn't do that, so I was uh, completely dependent on the autopilot being programmed correctly. That is definitely something that I can improve upon. Sierra India Romeo, just uh, watch your level please. 3,000 feet, QNH 1039. 3,000 feet, 1039, Sierra Romeo. Sierra India Romeo, contact Thames Radar 132 decimal 7, good morning. 132 decimal 7, Sierra Romeo. Yeah, so now I'm flying by hand on an unspecified track, worrying about that and trying to hand fly at the same time. So predictably, I shoot right through my altitude. Thames Radar, Sierra Co. Mike Indy Romeo on the uh, lead two. Uh, uh, at 3,200 feet, uh, coming down to 3,000. Tandy Romeo, uh, don't worry about that. Climb now to altitude 5,000 feet and squawk out. Flying to 5,000 feet and squawk out. Tandy Romeo. Tandy Romeo, turn right, heading 125. Right to 125, Sierra Romeo. Sierra Romeo, could you start, try squawking eye dent again? Squawking eye dent, Sierra Romeo. Thank you. And finally the stress starts to subside. I'm back on vectors and the autopilot's back on following the heading. Um, and uh, and I've got a new altitude that I'm climbing to with the autopilot. Um, 
This is the kind of departure that you never ever want anyone to know you actually did. <laughs> but on the other hand, what's the fun in that? Uh, PPL is a license to learn, uh, so I'm just glad it was a VMC day. I uh, wouldn't have wanted to do that when it was really ugly. Sierra India Romeo, turn left, heading 115. Left 115, Sierra Romeo. Um, and I guess if I want to give myself um, one uh, credit for doing one thing right, it's uh, not just trusting the autopilot to fly. Uh, I do have that as a routine to always look what the autopilot is doing. Um, and uh, so I noticed right away when the autopilot didn't do what I expected it to do. I mean, I knew more or less what the departure looked like, what the autopilot should do, and I noticed right away when it didn't do it, um, which is a good thing because uh, it gives you a chance at least to, to correct. Uh, I, I like to think of it that I'm, I'm, I never let the autopilot fly the, fly the plane. Uh, I'm always flying the plane and the, I'm using the autopilot to do it. Uh, and I think that's a good attitude to have. Uh, and I'm glad with everything else that went wrong that, uh, that I at least did that right. So, how did that seem to you? Smooth. Yeah. It can be even smoother because actually I put in the departure for runway 21, but then we changed to runway 03. So the autopilot. Thanks, Radar. Sierra India Romeo, report your heading to London 120 decimal 175. Bye bye. 120175 with heading. Sierra Romeo. Bravo 120, Dudley. Ryanair 83, Bravo Tango, climb now, flight level 150. Bravo 150, Ryanair 83, Bravo Tango. Ryanair 40, Whiskey Quebec, climb flight level 160. Ryanair 160, Ryanair 40, Whiskey Quebec. London, Sierra, Echo Mike, India, Romeo, uh, heading 115. Uh, Echo Mike, India, Romeo, Roger, continue on that heading and climb now, altitude 6,000 feet. Continuous heading, climb 6,000 feet, Sierra, Romeo. Roger, 2491. And Sierra India Romeo, just confirm your requested level today. Our uh, requested level today is uh, 100, Sierra India Romeo. Thank you. I mean, air traffic control is just amazing. Sierra India Romeo, climb flight level 100. Climb flight level 100, Sierra India Romeo. Four nine nine descend out all two four thousand feet. Gallop Q and H one zero four zero. He's out here four thousand Q and H one zero four zero. That's level two four nine nine. Okay, so we're cleared. I thought we were going to get the uh, the RNAV for zero seven. Is, is, uh, it flies just by GPS. The ILS, the ILS approach flies with these electronic nav aids that they have on the ground that send out an electronic signal and this reads it and that's where it gets its glide slope from. Glide slope is the path down to the ground that you want to follow. So you don't hit any obstacles and you end up right at the threshold. ILS is also very easy to fly. That's what I was tuning here. I was tuning, this is the, the localizer and the, and the glide path, this frequency here. And this frequency, which is the same in this case, they're co-located, uh, is a, a distance measuring equipment, which shows you how far away you are. If we were in instrument conditions, which means you couldn't see anything at all, you really want to make sure that the stuff is all right. Yeah. So you test it, you listen to it like I did, make sure you got the right one. And, and you want the distances because you want to check your altitude against the distance to make sure you're where you should be at that point. And then, you know, the glide slope, you test the glide slope that way. Sierra India Romeo, this is 2,500 feet. 2,500 feet, Sierra India Romeo.
Mike Jarmo, Sierra Echo 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 Put this approach on, like that. It's going to look for the uh, or the ILS, and it'll turn when it when it finds it. Approach to the Romeo established on the localized for two seven. Romeo, continue final on the ILS and you change very power 1187. Bye bye. Continue on the ILS uh, 118 decimal 7. Thank you. Bye bye. Sierra Tower, Sierra Comic, India Romeo, steps on the localized 27. India Romeo, bonjour, we talk about the final. Continue final, Sierra Romeo. Okay, point of departure coming up. Point of uh, descent. Flight level 130 and uh, the score 2317. Anzac 3 Tango, flight level 130 2317, the score. That's correct, I call you back, uh, 643. That's copied holding the number 3. India, Romeo, you're clear to land runway 27, wind calm, and you report uh, speed controls on the runway. Clear to land 27, uh, CRD Romeo, and report when vacated runway. Minimums, minimums.
air. India Romeo is a speed controlled? Speed is controlled. Okay, you will give way to uh, a jet uh, which is going to backtrack runway 09. So I wait at uh, November 1. You continue straight ahead, but you evacuate via Papa, but before you will give way to this traffic. Okay, give way at Papa. 643, uh, taxi and backtrack, runway 09, and report ready. And to the backtrack, uh, line up 09 will be ready on reaching, and copy the other traffic. Roger. Cooperation. Uh, you, may, you may evacuate via Papa, then it will be to the left, stand Alpha 2. Uh, exit Papa to the left, Alpha 2, stand Thank you. Kilo Fox, vous pouvez revenir pour une bonne main droite de Fox Hotel India, Hotel India, rappelez Novembre Alpha. Rappelez Novembre Alpha, Fox Hotel India. Speed control, that was a new one for me. Et Hotel Le Victor, poursuivez pour une fin de vente arrière 0.9. I think that's a very sensible question. Yeah, I never heard of that before. Look at six four three. Take off runway zero nine to six zero degrees four knots. Take off. Yours. Yeah, it is. 